hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss our second lecture on batch reactors so first we will discuss constant volume batch reactors so as you can make it out from the name itself constant volume means here the volume of the batch reactor should remain constant so if you remember the rate expression for any species it is given as r is equal to dc by dt okay now we know the so r means what it is the rate is given by dc by dt means the rate of change of concentration of any species it is called as the rate now we know the concentration is given as n by v which is number of moles divided by the volume so if we substitute the expression for c in this rate expression what do we get d of n by v by dt now this since we are dealing with constant volume so 1 by v can be taken out and the rate expression will be r is equal to 1 by v dc by dt okay so suppose you have taken uh, yeah, any species which is gaseous and you want the rate expression in terms of the pressure what will you do you know from ideal gas e equation pv is equal to nrt you can write n by v is equal to p by rt and what is n by v it is actually the concentration again and now if you substitute this concentration uh, i mean uh, this expression again in that original rate expression you will can derive the rate expression for the pressure of the species so you have r is equal to dc by dt and in place of c you are substituting this p by rt expression okay so you are substituting it here now 1 by rt is taken to be constant because r is universal gas constant and t is taken to be the temperature is taken to be constant okay while calculating for constant volume batch reactor so only change that you will occur is due to the pressure so this is the rate expression in terms of pressure of the species present in the batch reactor now we will talk about the conversion so con what does conversion means conversion means how much a given species has reacted to another species and converted to another species okay so suppose in the system you have a species a we will say how much that species a has been converted to the product or say another uh, species say b okay this how much is answered by the conversion which is denoted by x a so suppose you have n a naught which is the initial amount or the initial number of moles in the reactor at time t equal to 0 and Na is the final amount or the final number of moles of A present at time t equal to t. Then the conversion is given as Xa is equal to Na0 minus Na by Na0. So the numerator Na0 minus Na means how much the given species A has been converted. Firstly, initially it was Na0. And after time t final amount is Na. So how much it has reacted? Na0 minus Na. The whole divided by the initial amount or the initial uh, number of moles which is Na0. So this gives you the conversion rate which is Xa. So now if you use distributive law from here as you can see this is 1 minus Na by Na0. So this in a fraction you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by V. Because why? because v volume of the reactor here is constant because we are discussing constant volume batch reactor so yes the, the equation for conversion can be written as 1 minus na by v by na naught by v now what is na by v it is the concentration of the species a final concentration of the species a and na naught by v is the concentration of initial concentration of the species a which is ca naught so the conversion rate expression becomes 1 minus ca by ca naught okay now if you differentiate this e uh, equation okay so what will you have what will you get you will get da of xa okay and on the right hand side 1 is a constant so it will be 0 and you will only differentiate minus you will only differentiate this ca term okay this ca naught is also a constant because the initial amount of the species is also fixed so it will be dxa is equal to minus of dca by ca0 now we will discuss varying volume batch reactor so for varying volume batch reactor you can guess that here the volume of the batch reactor will vary so v0 is the initial volume of the reactor suppose and v is the volume at time t so the relationship between 
these two will be given as by this expression v is equal to v naught into 1 plus epsilon a into xa so v is the volume at time t v naught is the initial volume xa is a conversion net epsilon a is called as the fractional change in volume okay so we will come to that but suppose you want to write you want to get an expression in terms of the conversion net that you can get this expression now what is the fractional change in volume it is epsilon a is defined as the fractional change in volume between no conversion rate and complete conversion rate of reactant a so mathematically it is written as epsilon a is equal to v at x is xa is equal to 1 means volume at which complete conversion of a has occurred minus volume at which no conversion of a has occurred x equal to 0 divided by volume at which no conversion of a has occurred okay so this is defined as a fractional change in volume one thing you should note two things you should note here actually while doing problems on batch reactor you have to see whether the species you are taking in the batch reactor whether it is liquid species or gaseous species if it is a liquid species you could very well go through it, uh, go with the normal calculations but if it's a gaseous species you have to go to uh, epsilon a okay you have to calculate epsilon a now we will see how to calculate epsilon a let us see an example so we consider an isothermal gas phase reaction for it suppose we have an uh, equation or an expression say a is changing to 4 moles of R. So, A is the reactant here and R is the product here. How can we calculate epsilon A? For that, we are taking an important assumption that we are using only pure reactant A. That means in the reactant feed, only single species is present, which is A. No any other mixture or no other species is present in the reactant feed. Then, epsilon A is calculated as 4 minus 1 by 1 is equal to 3. That means what? The 4 means what? the moles or the volume at which complete conversion of a has occurred so suppose here we are what we are seeing one mole of a is being converted into four moles of r so suppose here when complete conversion of a occurs entire one moles of a gets converted into four moles of r so here we are writing four that's why minus volume or the moles at which no conversion of a has occurred so suppose the a conversion of a to r wouldn't have occurred then entirely you would have one mole of a present in the system only one mole of a because there is no conversion so that's why we write one here four minus one divided by the volume of the number of moles at which no conversion of a has occurred which is one way which is three so sub note here that here we are calculating in this fashion only when we have pure reactant a that means single type of species present in the field no contamination or no mixture with any other species but what if we have some inert gas present in the feed as well so suppose you have 50 percent inert that means half of the reactant feed is present with their desired species and the other half is present with an inert species inert gas then two volumes of the reactant would yield five volumes of the product how suppose we consider this reaction x plus a is equal to 4r plus x here same as before a is being converted into 4 moles of r but here x is an inert gas because it is inert gas it will not react with a but it will be present in the reactant feed as well as in the product feed okay so on the left hand side what will what is the total number of moles of the reactant as well as the inert gas which is 1 plus 1 which is 2 num 2 moles and on the product side you will have 5 4 moles of R and 1 moles of inert gas. So 5. Now how will you calculate epsilon A? Epsilon A is calculated to be as 5 minus 2 divided by 2. Okay. So 5 minus 2 divided by 2. So this is how you calculate uh, epsilon A whenever you have an inert mixture present in the reactant feed with your desired species. Okay, so now you know that uh, I have already shown you this is the relationship between the conversion rate and the number of moles of any species. So you can rearrange it and write it as this form Na is equal to Na0 into 1 minus Xa. So Ca which is a concentration I have already told you it is actually what Na by V. Okay, so if you put Na by V you will get this expression and what is this Na0 by V0? This is actually your Ca0. 
okay so rest of the terms remain the same but you only replace n0 by v0 as c0 okay so from here from this uh, equation only you can get ca by c0 ca by c0 you can get which is 1 minus xa by 1 plus epsilon or xa okay so now why we are finding ca by c0 because suppose we are interested in deriving a relationship between the conversion rate and the uh, concentration of the species reacting species previously this if you look at it here clearly this is the relationship between the uh, conversion rate and the number of moles of the reactant species but here what we are interested in uh, we are interested in uh, deriving a relationship for varying volume batch reactor between the react between the conversion rate and the concentration of the species a so if you remember how we can write it as xa so xa is from here we can see xa is equal to 1 minus ca by ca0 by 1 plus epsilon a ca by ca0 so this is the relationship between xa and ca for varying volume batch reactor and if you go back here you will notice here this was our relationship so this relationship that we got here this was for the what this is for the constant volume batch reactor next in the previous in the subsequent lecture we will discuss more on the uh, batch reactor that will be our last and final lecture thank you